Hello, I'm the Sweet Talker. I'm playing Azula in Avatar Dawn of Darkness. Today we're going to learn some vocal warm-up exercises. First of all, here's what not to do. The first three hours before a performance are key, and there are several things you shouldn't eat and shouldn't drink. The first is caffeine. Caffeine in a liquid form dries up the vocal cords. Something else you shouldn't eat or drink is anything made of dairy. Ooh, I know. This one gets to me, too. That means no ice cream, no milk, no cheese. Dairy creates a lovely mucousy phlegm on your vocal cords, something you really, really don't want. Two more things you don't want to drink before a performance, carbonated beverages and alcohol. Now a few things you shouldn't do three hours before a performance. Strenuous exercise. Strenuous exercise gets the blood pumping and is good for overall health, but it makes the voice sound unnatural. If you don't believe me, just take a listen at this guy. Or her. Or him. Something else you shouldn't do at least three hours before a performance is smoke. Really, you shouldn't smoke at all if you're going to be a professional voice actor, but if you must, lay off the cigs three hours prior to a performance. If you catch yourself doing any one of these no-nos, immediately stop, smack yourself in the face, and start guzzling water. Now, let's do some gentle, full-body stretches, because voice acting is a full-body endeavor. First, stand up from your chair and lift one arm as high as it will go. Try to touch the ceiling as high as you can. Ah, all right, put that arm down. Now lift up the other one as high as you possibly can, stretching the fingers all the way up, and now put it down. Now give yourself a big hug. Yeah, not only does that stretch the back muscles, but it makes you feel good about yourself, doesn't it? Come on, you can admit it. Now some shoulder rolls to the front. One, two, three, and to the back. One, two, and three. Now take your elbows and try to point them up as high as you can to the ceiling like your chicken. This stretches the diaphragm. And relax. Now the neck. Try pointing your chin up to the ceiling. Remember, don't strain your neck. You're just stretching it. Now point your chin down to the ground. Very good. Now turn and look all the way to your left. Feel that neck stretch. And turn the other way, look all the way to the right. Very good. Now time to get into proper positions. Some actors like sitting, some like standing. It's really whatever works for you, and it's really depending on what character you're portraying. I like to stand for Azula. It makes me feel more powerful. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry. The most important thing is that you're comfortable so that you can get lost in the character and not be focused on where you're at. If you're sitting, you should have a comfortable chair. If you're standing, you should have comfortable shoes. You should have good lighting so that you don't have to strain your eyes to see your script. And whether you're sitting or standing, your back should be straight, your shoulders back and relaxed, your spine in proper alignment, and, and this is important, your chin should be parallel to the floor. Imagine a garden hose. When it's all kinked up, the water doesn't flow naturally. It sputters. Your vocal cords are much the same way. Your voice should flow naturally. All right. Comfortable? Feet on the floor? Chin and spine in proper alignment? Good. Time for tongue, lip, and mouth exercises. <laughs> this is why I don't allow comments to be posted automatically on this video. First, the tongue. <clears throat> the tongue. Stick it out as far as it will go. Yeah, you're going to look funny. <laughs> now, try to touch your nose with your tongue. Uh-huh. It's not easy, is it? And now, move your tongue down as far as it'll go. And now, from side to side. Now, put your tongue back in your mouth. And wipe up the drool and open your mouth as wide as it will comfortably go. You shouldn't feel pain with this exercise, but you should feel a stretch. Very good. Now you're going to be doing a tongue roll. There you go. Keep it up for about 10 seconds. Bring your lips down and bring your lips into it. It's hard to do it first, but it gets easier the more you practice. Now close your mouth and puff your cheeks out. 
Now, grit your teeth and give me a good growling sneer. Peel your lips back as far as they will go. Err. There you go. You remember your vowels from first grade? Give me a big, wide A. A with your mouth open as wide as it'll comfortably go. Now, E. Clench the teeth together. E. And I. O. Make a nice round O shape with your lips. O. And you. And with you, push your lips out as far as they'll go. Like a very exaggerated kissing look. You. <laughs> very good. You looked silly, but you're going to sound great. Now, breathing exercises. I'm just going to take in air gently and easily to the count of 10. And take in air now. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now blow out to the count of 15. And at the very end of this, I hope you're still holding your breath, you're going to puff out the rest of the air like blowing out a candle on a birthday cake. And blow out 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, slowly, 7, Six, five, four, three, two, one. And one final puff of air. <sighs> Surprised that there was a little extra puff of air where you didn't expect it to be? This gets old air out of your lungs and out of your system. Now, if you're serious about your vocal warm up exercises, pause this YouTube video and do the breathing exercises a few more times. I also would like you to try this breathing exercise at least once. Breathing only through your nose. Go ahead, I'll wait. Okay, either you weren't serious or you're back, so shame on you or well done. Try these exercises at least once a day, even if you're not performing. Another good way of loosening up the voice is to try tongue twisters. She sells seashells by the seashore. You can also practice when you're in the shower. A shower is a great place for acoustics. Just take that bottle of shampoo you're using and read the ingredients label. There are all kinds of very weird words. Do your best to pronounce them. You can also read the little promotional blurb on the back of the shampoo bottle in an announcer's voice. L'Oreal brings color and shine to your hair. L'Oreal, because you're worth it. More tips for voice actors on the way. I'm the Sweet Talker. Thanks for listening.